Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here, and this is my video of Heath from The Walking Dead, and where is Heath, and when will he reappear in the TV show? So, in the comics, Heath kind of has a supporting role. He's never been a very big character. He has been alive for over a hundred issues, and he has had several big moments. Um, namely, off the top of my head, when... Alexandria is getting bombed by the saviors. Heath loses a leg during an explosion and Denise who is still alive at that point in the comics and she's uh, it's she's completely different in the show but but Denise in the comics saves his life um keeps him alive even though he had just lost a leg and she had been bitten in the arm so she basically has to turn and die because it's too late to cut her arm off because she had to do the surgery to save Heath's life and they actually had a romantic relationship going on and Heath was sad that, that they didn't get to be together longer and she dies and he also has a few moments with Michonne. Michonne tries to have casual sex with him because she... She kind of does that sort of thing, not not judging her, but yeah. Um, and then he kind of rejects her, and she's the one that ends up killing Denise when Denise turns into a zombie. So it kind of it it kind of comes full circle with the two of them. Also, Heath is actually there during the the Lucille lineup when we first meet Negan, and in the comics, Negan just kills Glenn. And Abraham's already dead, and there's less characters there during the lineup, but Heath is actually one of them. I think there's seven seven characters that are there, and Heath is one of them. And he just has a few moments here and there, but for the most part, he's a, a smaller, recurring character. And in the show, he was a little different. He kind of had this, this, this big presence. Like, he was basically learning from the old survivors. He was learning from the people that you know, Rick's group that had first come to Alexandria. He was learning things from Glenn. He was learning things from Michonne. And when they all go and completely wipe out a group of the saviors and outpost, Heath is very disturbed and he and Tara go off on their mission to get supplies and Heath ends up going missing and we still don't know what happened to him and none of that happens in the comics. In the comics Heath is just kind of he's just kind of there he's just kind of in the background every once in a while he gets a panel where he does something or he says a word or a few words but for the most part for the most part Heath is just kind of a minor character in the comics he's still alive and he's one of the longest lasting Alexandrians but he's still a minor character and he still is one and so, for, for him to go missing the way he did in the show, it didn't affect things too much, but it's still kind of disappointing because he, he, he's, he's still kind of a cool comic character that a lot of people, including me, were looking forward to seeing in the show. I know he's not that big of a character, but we were still kind of excited excited to see him. He's still kind of a popular character. I mean, I mean once you live 100, 150 issues of, of The Walking Dead, you're you're a pretty well-known Walking Dead character. So, for for him to disappear and for for us to, to two seasons later still not know what the hell happened to him, if he's alive or dead or anything, it's a little frustrating. And the actor Corey Corey Hawkins, he he's a really good actor. He he did a good job portraying Heath. And um, I, I watched Twenty Four Legacy. I'm actually a big fan of the Twenty Four franchise. And he he was the main character in Twenty Four Legacy. And that's the reason that Heath disappeared in The Walking Dead. Um, the actor wanted to. He was sort of torn between The Walking Dead and Twenty Four, and he basically chose Twenty Four. So Scott Gimple decided to have the character be MIA and us not know what happened to him. And 24 got canceled. So there's, there's still a good chance that Corey Hawkins could come back to The Walking Dead. Because Scott Gimple left the door open. He could have just killed off Heath. I mean, Heath could have gotten killed off. It, it would not have been the end of the world. So the, the, the fact that Scott Gimple took the time to 
have the character be MIA and us not know what happened. It's because he, he, he truly does want to bring him back. So I think if the actor is open for it, he could still return. And I think with season 9, it's going to be years later. And he's basically up there with Tara at this point. We, we just don't know what happened to these characters. Could they could they be a part of the Whisperers? Could could they could they be in a new group? Because I mean, there's there's definitely an unfinished mystery because Tara found that that little thing that says PPP. I mean, what the hell does that mean? You know, like, why why even put that there if if we're never going to get any answers? So that kind of tells me that it, it it it's a mystery that's going to get resolved and we're going to get answers and we're going to find out what happened to Tara and Heath. And like I said, I I feel like it would be a stretch to see them be a part of the Whisperers. They they could do that. They really could. I mean, they would. Tara and Heath would have to be really, really too far gone to to be a part of the Whisperers because the Whisperers are savage people, very savage people. Tara left the Saviors because she just couldn't live with herself. She couldn't live with the guilt of of you know, being one of Negan's wives, and and Heath left with Tara, and he was angry because he, he was very sort of nihilistic and negative, just thinking that everyone is out there for themselves, and he told Tara, if you have to choose between yourself and someone else, you choose yourself, that's how the world is, so Heath, is def Heath was definitely in a dark place, but he also... The last time we saw him, he ended up almost getting himself killed to save Tara. He ended up doing the right thing and saving Tara's life when he could have ran off and not helped her. So it was kind of a, redeem a, a redeeming moment for Heath, and that's the last time we see him. That's the very last time we see him, so... I think with Heath it would make more sense to make him a part of the Whisperers. I really don't want either character to be a part of the Whisperers. It could add an interesting dynamic because th there could, there could be hundreds of hundreds of them, but then there's these one or two people that Rick actually knew before, and that kind of adds a little bit more to to the whole story that there's th these characters that that we had spent time with before that had actually turned into whispers because they they were just so far gone and in a very dark place, and that could sort of add a tragic layer to the whole story. But like I said, with Tara, it just doesn't make sense because she she left because she felt guilt. So why would she be a part of a group that supports raping children and just killing people for no reason and acting like animals? And for Heath, that would be a really big a really big stretch. I could see it with him slightly more because he was already saying that stuff about how. You, you you choose yourself over someone else, and, and this world is just basically a dog-eat-dog -dog world. So for Heath, I'd say it makes a little bit more sense. What I'm hoping for is that in Season 9, there's just a new group of characters, and Heath and Tara are part of that. Maybe they're, they're being captured or forced into slavery, or who knows. Or maybe they're both, maybe they're both dead, and... Um, we're going to see how they died. I hope that they end up bringing both actors back. And you know, just ha ha just giving the audience an answer. I mean, with Tara, it's, 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 it's very much still a mystery because Daryl told Dwight to find her. So we know that that's what Dwight's doing. Dwight is looking for Tara. So I, I think that we're going to see what happens with that. I hope that we get some Dwight in, in Season 9. I have a feeling we might not get him in the first few episodes or the first half of the season. But I hope they don't wait until like Season 10 for, for Dwight to come back and for us to see him find Tara. I hope this is something that we see in Season 9. So I, I'm really hoping that wherever they are, whether they're a part of the Whispers or a part of a new group or if they're alive or if they're dead, that they both make an appearance in Season 9 and we get both actors back that, that can be a part of it i mean these the, the actors have to to get paid you know they got bills so they might be in other shows it just depends um but i i really feel like we've waited enough both of these characters we've pretty much waited over a year to see them again to heath over two years it's about two years now i guess but 
we've been waiting. We've been waiting a long time just to see these characters, and they weren't very big characters, so if you wait too long, we're not going to care anymore, and it's it's really just not worth this just this big dramatic reveal because they weren't that big to begin with it's not like morgan where when it, when he reappeared it was this big moment they're not that important heath and tara are not are not that important so i i just hope we get them back in season nine and we find out what the fuck happened because it is going to be years later i mean how long is it going to take i think that i think we should get the characters back if they can get the actors back we should get heath and and tara back Anyway guys, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. With all that said, I'm Spencer Rhodes and I will see you guys later. Bye.